So my name is Pratik Samant. Um, I'm a PhD student at True Lab um, at the University of Oklahoma. My PhD is in biomedical engineering. The research I do is uh, in nanoscale photoacoustic tomography. Uh, essentially, we're trying to build uh, nanoscale imaging modality that can break through the physical limits on resolution. So what we do at our lab is we take advantage of the photoacoustic effect in order to see features that are smaller than the optical diffraction limit. This is kind of a scale that we don't currently have any great modality of probing on. There's, there's a couple label-free imaging modalities that are out there, but none of them actually look at optical information. When you look at an image, like with your eyes, what you're seeing is optical information. What you're seeing is absorption, uh, the light that is absorbed by whatever it is you're looking at and reflecting off. And looking at really, really small things that same way it is very difficult. Um, that's why we have things like electron microscopy and all of these other modalities that shine something else instead of light. But in doing that, you, you're not, you don't have access to the same information. You don't have absorption information. And uh, that absorption information can tell us things that uh, other types of information, for example, electron scattering, uh, can't. I was trained actually as a physicist. My undergraduate degree was in physics, and I did drastically different research originally. Um, I did quantum mechanics. So I was really interested in looking into how my physics skills could be applied outside of traditional physics roles. I think my favorite part is the versatility of the research. So I've done some work on simulations. Um, so I can be at the computer just writing code sometimes, but I also actually build the system with my hands. Uh, I play with the mirrors, uh, beam splitters, all sorts of optical components. And there's the signal processing, all the equipment handling. Uh, there's, there's just a lot to do in many, many different things. And it's nice to have a change of pace. I was looking into uh, graduate schools, um, a few stuck out, uh, True Lab being one of them. Uh, the reason that it stuck out actually was just the very, very unique nature of the research. Uh, nobody is doing nanoscale photoacoustic tomography except us, uh, that this is a modality that exists in one place. Um, also, uh, the other modalities of the lab, like XACT, uh, th th those are only here, and I really like doing novel stuff. Uh, Sean's our advisor has an idea that uh, we want to be doing new and exciting things that nobody really does. That way we can open new directions, do exciting research. It's varied from going into the lab and working at my desk all day, writing code, um, to going into the lab and then working with the actual equipment all day, or setting up the optical systems. Um, or going into the lab and uh, doing some signal processing related stuff or equipment set up uh, outside of the optical systems because there's all sorts of signal processing uh, instruments that we have to deal with. So highly motivated people, uh, people that really want to um, build careers in academia typically just because it's, it's really nice to have motivated individuals around you that are doing research, not just because of the job, but because they really like doing research. In this context, we employ multiple postdocs, um, undergraduates, and graduate students. I like my advisor, I guess. <laughs> like, uh, he's, he's a good advisor. Um, he has a really interesting way of uh, being an advisor. Uh, on if you want, he can lay off if you want, he's very versatile. And he's actually given me a lot of support since landing here. I mean, it's not just been about me doing his research, he's actually been like, well, here's my plan for you. And I mean, a lot of professors take on undergrads and then don't let them do anything. Uh, we've not done that, we've actually like sent our undergrads like challenging tasks. Another great thing about True Lab is um, just novelty of the research. I know I keep stressing that, but like that's definitely a big 
thing about us, it's that research we do here doesn't exist anywhere. Yeah, so once a week we have uh, what's called a journal club where the entire lab gets together. Um, every week there's a different person presenting a journal. Um, we try to keep our articles new and exciting and high impact. That way uh, this journal club serves as a way for us to stay in the loop. Uh, as for the group meetings, um, that's where we report on our research uh, every week to each other. We have a big team. Um, lots of us have different areas of expertise. Usually when I bring up a problem in my research that I don't know how to solve, somebody in that room has something to say about how it can't get solved. So True Lab does provide a novel, exciting, and challenging research direction. There's no doubt about that. Um, novel because all of our modalities are completely novel. They don't exist anywhere else. You, I don't think you can get more novel than that. Um, and that is inherently exciting. Um, it's, it's research that makes a big impact. The bright side is uh, because it's challenging and because it's hard, when we make progress, even if it's incremental, it's still exciting because we're the first to have made.